When we're talking about data protection, the two most important values that everybody needs to agree on are RTO and RPO. That's recovery time objective and recovery point objective. Recovery time objective is the amount of time that we all agree that a recovery can take. Recovery point objective is the amount of data that we all agree is acceptable to be lost in a recovery situation. Now let me explain what I mean. So if a server dies at noon, if we have a four hour RTO, that means that that server and its application needs to be back up and running by 4 p.m. So that includes replacing the server, repairing the server, and restoring its data. One of the mistakes that people make is they just think about RTO as the amount of time it takes to restore. It's actually from beginning to end, from the outage to the application being entirely ready to go. That's what the RTO is. The RPO is very different, and that is the amount of data that we say we can lose. So again, let's talk about that outage that happened at noon. If we have a one hour RPO, that means that we have accepted that we can lose the data from 11 a.m. until noon. We've said we can lose one hour's worth of data. If you have a four hour RPO, then you say you can lose four hours worth of data. Now, let's talk about the typical backup system. The typical backup system can take several hours to back up, which means that at a minimum, the RTO is going to be several hours, plus the amount of time it takes to actually repair the system in question. With a typical backup system, it also runs once a night, which means a typical backup system can only support an RPO of about 24 hours. With Druva Phoenix, we can support a number of different RTOs. The typical Druva Phoenix customer recovers directly from the cloud and they find that that recovery time is sufficient to meet their needs. If they've got a little bit more aggressive RTO, what we have is something called Cloud Cache, which is something that we offer you free of charge that you load on a system of your choice, which then you back up to that system and then that system sends those backups to the cloud. That Cloud Cache acts as a cache of the most recent backup and recovery data so that you can do land speed recoveries of that data, which allows you to do a much faster recovery, which allows you to support a much tighter RTO. And then finally, another option for some of our customers is to use a DR in the cloud. Basically, they, they have a VPC and they load our cloud connector and we can recover their VMs in their VPC and then we can do that in a very short period of time. And so again, the most important thing is that we all agree on what the RTO and RPO are, and then you work with your data protection vendor to make sure that you meet that RTO and RPO.